Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is a podcast then talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, news, pop culture, music, everything really depending on a guest to talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. My guest is an actor who recognizes him from tons of really cool things. Most recently, his show, The Crew, starring Kevin James, has dropped oh, yeah. on Netflix. Gary Anthony Williams is with us. Gary, welcome oh. to Pop Turnative. Oh, PD Beats, <laughs> it feels like magic. Everything feels absolutely magical today. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. And yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the intro is I, I got a lot of practice, but it's no. a lot, it's a lot to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> this seems like you know what? I'm I'm hiring a choir just to come in and start doing all your intros for you. You a man like you, you should rest that golden throat of yours until you really need it. <laughs> Thank you so use much. Use it for swallowing. Only use it for swallowing. Don't use it for words. <laughs> You only need words. <laughs> um, the crew is just one of those shows that it's just it's just a fun, funny show. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised you're doing this interview right now because you just I'm, you, 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 yeah. I'm a very imp- I'm a very important man. No, but I'm normally saying you, just, you just you just you just make the car run. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> see, okay. I got yeah. you. Yeah. See anybody else? See anybody else around here who can make the car run? <laughs> yeah. That's but it's a just good... a great show. Congrats so far. I love it, man. Thanks, it's man. awesome. It was an absolute blast to do. We started, I don't know, I don't know how much you know about it, but we started shooting last January yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, got cut off in March like the rest of the world uh, because of COVID. And then, then we went back and finished it up uh, in September, finished the rest of the episodes. So mm-hmm. the only thing I missed that we were going to do that we didn't get a chance to do is all of the stuff that you see at NASCAR, we were supposed to go down there and shoot live at yes. NASCAR. So I was psyched about that. Now I did. Uh, I, yeah, it's true. I heard. Yeah, because so Dana Duke came on the show to mm-hmm. talk about Cobra Kai. The crew was not out yet. I missed the yeah. window of it being out. So he talked a little bit about it, but he couldn't say much well, he about won't, it. Well, Dana Duke won't shut up about Cobra Kai. That's the problem. <laughs> Like, I called him the other day. He's like, Dan, how you feeling, man? I heard you had been a little under the weather. He's like, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. He won't shut up about Cobra Kai. People are loving Cobra Kai, man. (laughs) Yeah, but you know what else people are loving? Is the crew on Netflix. (laughs) They are. a young Kevin. (laughs) Well, no, but that's the thing, too. Kevin James, in in general, but in this show, is so funny. It's fun, man. It's awesome. What's it like working with him? uh, The worst. Absolute worst. (laughs) No, dude, the guy, he... He's one of those guys, and there are a few people like this in the industry who are on a show, who are the leads of shows, and they want to make sure that everybody else on that show gets their due. Yeah. Like, he wants to make sure you're funny. He's not definitely not afraid of anybody being funnier than him. Uh, like, if, if, you, if you could do it, he's going to give you the chance <laughs> to do it, you know, in a given scene. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, a very generous dude when it comes to that. And it was... Absolutely. And I know I hear actors say it all the time. It was a straight up pleasure. Yeah. And it was just texting with the gang right now. I was just texting with the cast of the crew right now. We text each other several times a day, every day. It's like family for it's real. For real. Yeah. Just, it's, it's, it's interesting too, because it becomes like a show kind of tale of two shows. Cause there's kind of the NASCAR pit crew, the, wor- the mm-hmm. workplace comedy, but yep. You know, your characters are not related, but there's like, like you guys are all close. It's like a family dynamic as well. So that's an interesting dynamic about the crew as well, Gary. And it literally plays out that way today. Like I was giving Dan, like on the show, I, my character gives Dan crap all the time. And just now he was on the plane. He's like, Hey guys, I'm, I'm flying. Is there any good thing you can tell me? And I was like, I'm sorry, Dan. I'm just watching the news right now. They're saying that a hundred percent of the COVID cases are from people on planes. (laughs) People from <laughs> people of foreign descent who are on Netflix shows. Like we constantly give each other crap. Well, she, uh, Sarah, yeah. Sarah uh, Styles is singing at she's singing the national anthem at NASCAR this week. So right before I got on with you, I was just congratulating her for that. Amazing. So like we're constantly in contact with each other. That's awesome. No, it's, yeah, it, man, it's, it's amazing. Um, 
Obviously, the answer to this question is you hope people enjoy it. They laugh and everything. But diving right into it. What if it's not? It, what if I surprise you? What, I don't care what they think about it. <laughs> and I hope it makes them cry. <laughs> Screw y'all. Is there anything specifically, though, that Kevin James, do you think, wanted people to get out of it when they watched the crew? I mean, want to laugh, want to have a good time. But there's a cool dynamic about the show, too. Yeah, it, it really is. Like, like you said, it's... And he described there's there's in the episode he describes each one of us and you know he's like Chuck is like my brother yeah like so I think it really is like you said workplace but it feels very family like these people really know each other yeah and and fortunately we really got that chance especially when we came back after uh, after the COVID break because uh, they put us all up in one hotel so we were bubbled we didn't get to see anybody else except each other you know so we really got to just spend time and even bond even more with each other so you're with dad so, quite a quite a bit oh yeah absolutely and our dressing rooms were side by side and literally <laughs> one of us would start singing some song and the other we would be both just singing at the top of our lungs because the, the dynamic with a mirror and, and chuck is fantastic on the show yeah love yeah it. It, yeah he is like He's the person I love to tell shut up more than anybody. But the whole world. thing with, uh, I mean, people are watching the show. It's not like a spoiler or anything, but like when the, you guys are doing interviews for the job, that mm -hmm. is probably one of my favorite moments of the whole show. That's why I kind of said in the beginning yeah. of the thing, like, I just make the car run. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I'm in and out. I never stop my walk. I told her. Yeah, <laughs> tried to tell She's her. like, I don't need to talk to Chuck. He makes the car run. Yeah. That was like, and you can tell because it's a laugh track, right? It, no, but, no, no. That that was shot live audience. Well, sorry, the live audience. No, but yeah. the, the audience is laughing really yeah. hard at that part. That's what I meant. It, like, it was one of those parts, literally, and it was because it was written so well. It's such a simple joke. They set it up a couple of scenes earlier, mm -hmm. and then I come in and she just repeats that joke, and I never stop moving. The director goes, "If you don't stop walking when when she says, ah, he makes a car run," and I just go, "Told you. I tried to tell her." He's like, if you don't stop walking and you just make that one move, the audience is going to die. And literally, the show stopped just because of that direction and that line and the way it was. Everyone was laughing. You know, so wait, up. you just you just said something that interests me, and I know I'm sorry if I come off naive or, or not realizing this. Are there pre-recorded laugh tracks on TV shows? Oh yeah, some shows like um, I just assume that it's all live audience and it's a laugh track from the yeah, live okay. audience. Okay, so he, here here's a Holly, Hollywood secret from Gary Anthony Williams, <laughs> aka Chuck Stubbs on the crew. Netflix, watch it now. Watch it later. Save it for your grandkids. Um, the show uh, How I Met Your Mother. Yes. I think when they first started shooting it, they had an audience. After that. No audience. Interesting. They shot it all. Well, you learn something all. new every day, yeah. right, Gary? I have not learned anything new today yet. <laughs> well, you learned that the alternative yet. has a pretty long intro. Too Already long, knew right? it. <laughs> Already knew it. Did all my intro research. I, I research every uh, podcast out there. Uh, I did. I did study two different hummingbirds today that were drinking out of our fountain. So I learned a little about. <laughs> The Allen's hummingbird and the Anna's hummingbird. I did learn that a little bit. Oh, That's man. something my character Chuck Stubbs would know too. The crew, yeah, so you know, you're chucking you know you're Chuck in the crew, which is a sitcom. You've yeah. worked on a lot of other really cool things, but you've also yeah, been in another sitcom, Malcolm in the Middle. You were Steve's dad and Malcolm in the Middle. It was literally my first big TV job I got when I moved to LA. You were always around too, with like Hal and his poker nights. And we always just well, see your character it turned, all the time. It turned what 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 happened was it turned from uh, just being Stevie's dad to they also made him ha also Hal's best friend, yeah. and then all of Hal's best friend just turned out to be these black dudes. Like he didn't have any white friends on that show. It was like us. We were it. Truth, yeah. And there was one episode where um, he was like, "You guys don't like me, do you? You don't like?" And it seemed like it was about to turn into a racial thing. He's like, "Cause I can't." I think it was about poker. I think it may have been. Oh, no, because he wasn't rich. He wasn't a professional like the rest of us were like, what? No. So it was a very cool dynamic that they set up on that show. No, really, really cool. And another thing, too, is, you know what? It's interesting right now because geek culture and comic book culture is massive. I think you know where I'm going with this right now. And it's cool to be a geek. It's cool to be a nerd. You got a chance to be in the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah. Yeah. 
and put I, uh, an iconic I, character I, at that too. I had actually refused to audition for that part because okay. Uh, hey everybody, my name is Gary Anthony Williams. I uh, watch the crew on Netflix. Uh, so <laughs> I used to I used to weigh about 370, 380 pounds. And the I went to I was I had started losing weight and they, I went to audition for that character. Uh, Bebop, and they were like looking for a big guy. And at that time, big could mean fat, tall, whatever, muscular, doesn't matter as long as they're big. And so I was like, I'm not that big anymore. So I didn't even want to audition. And then my agent was like, no, I'll go. So I auditioned and then I got a call back. They were like, uh, he really likes you. The producer really likes you. Uh, and he loved how you improvised on the audition. And I was so mad thinking they're just screwing with me. I was like, I'll see how much he likes me. So when I went to the call back, I didn't say a single thing that was written on that paper. I just improvised my whole audition. I was like, if he likes me, he's got to prove it. And what, was it like work- and what was it like working with Seamus? Oh, dude, we became good buddies. I learned I learned that some some myths are true. That Irish dude, he knew whiskey. That dude, like the first time, night we met, like, let's go, let's get to know each other. Let's go to the bar after we work. So we go to the bar and it's like, I quickly, I learned on one night, don't try to keep up. Don't try to keep up with a guy whose only job is to build muscle because it's like muscle can hold that alcohol, you know? And so it's like, we'd go, we'd have fun and then we'd get rest and we'd go work all day and go back out the next night and have fun. Like it was, it was a blast, man. Absolutely. No, for sure. And we're, we're talking to Gary Anthony Williams, plays Chuck on the crew, which you can watch on Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> if you're looking for flicks, they're not just on the net anymore. Netflix. Well, you did a voice there. You also did a voice in some are saying one of the most underrated sh- animated shows of all time, and that is the Boondocks. Because people think till this day that that show is underrated. Now I the Boondocks. I played on Caracas and the Boondocks. Now listen here, folks. I know that there's a lot going on in life, but when you need to just sit back and enjoy yourself, flip on your TV, flip on some NASCAR, and after you that. Watch the crew on Netflix. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Netflix pays me 28 cents every time I says their name, Netflix. That might or might not be true. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's, it's funny. Do, do you find it difficult sometimes, especially? Like, I always thought about that. Like, you've done so many cool projects, right? And you're like, talk, you have like current projects, right? But some, yep. there's like a lot of projects. Do you find it kind of hard sometimes to like do interviews because there's so much to, to talk about? No, like, it, you know, sometimes people will, will say, hey, let's just talk about the blank, blank. I, I don't care. Like, I have, I'm no, not at all. Like, yeah. if, 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 People want to talk about there's some stuff I like literally don't remember. <laughs> like, I think it was like uh, yeah. <laughs> a friend of mine the other day was like, oh, man, you're in one of my favorite video games, Mass Effect or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, OK. Like, I don't remember. Remember, like a lot of the video game characters I, I play, so I have to go back and take a look I think at the them. thing, though, because I have a lot of friends that are on some really cool shows, too. And I think the thing that really irritates them, and you probably agree with them, is when like, yeah, like for example, we're doing an interview about the crew, right? If our, my first question was like, "So talk about your time with Brian Crossley and all that," oh, in the middle, it's no just, bother me. No, but it's like you know, it's, it's one of those things where like it's it's your crew is hey, like a new show, right? Let me tell let me tell you something right now, Peter Beats. If the crew wants me to only talk about the crew, they're gonna have to come up off their money. Other than that, I'm gonna talk about everything I've ever done. Mm-hmm. I was in the episode of Cousin Skeeter long ago. You were the in Amanda jail. Show. Once, you were in jail once. I was in jail on Harold and Kumar. <laughs> so Harold and Kumar paid me that money to talk about them. <laughs> but if the crew want me to exclusively talk about the crew yeah. on Netflix, sorry, Kevin James, Sarah Styles, <laughs> Danny Duke, Frankie Stroman, um, uh, <laughs> Jillian Muller, and a young Gary Anthony Williams, and of course, headlined by. Kevin James, then I'll do that. No, but it's just like <laughs> it, it, it. It's just it's just interesting too because it just seems there's some people I've had in the show that I've done 
projects. Like like you said, you probably don't remember when they, they did it like 20 years ago. People still bring it yeah. up and they're like, man, like I'm still constantly working. And- yeah, like if people like <laughs> show me a picture of it, then I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a shark guy in that Star Wars thing. You know, like some stuff I remember, like I played this character Riff Thompson in uh, Clone Wars. And it's like, oh, yeah, it was half like some stuff I remember. But then it's like. Yeah, I've done a few things. Like Phil Lamar, though, my buddy Phil, he remembers oh. every freaking voice of every character Samurai, he's that's ever not, done. That's Samurai Jack, right? Samurai Jack, oh. yeah. Samurai but, Jack. What are the... Oh, yeah. Great. But he remembers every voice of everything he's done. I was like, ah, I don't have I that brain. I just recently dude. interviewed Gray Delisle Griffin. Love me some Gray Delisle. So, like, how, like, we did this, like, thing, this segment on the show where we did, like, a speed round of her voices she did. And I would say, like, yeah. a word. And then she'd say, so I'd be like, pizza. Yeah. And then she would say so, something okay. in her character. Here's something fun to do. Uh, hi, my name is Gary Anthony Williams. I'm currently starring in The Crew on Netflix. <laughs> um, I, on my Instagram, you have to go back and look. When yeah. COVID first hit, I was doing this thing called Acting alone at home with friends who are also acting alone at home. Was that with Chris Williams as well? I did everybody. I did yeah. Chris Williams. I did Phil Lamar, uh, Gray Delisle, and I did one. Yeah. So I would shoot. I would shoot part of a scene and just improvise holes into it. I saw and yeah. send it to them, and then they would just they would improvise their part, and then a producer would just a director would put them. Uh, yeah, I saw that because Chris, Chris Williams. I, I interviewed him. Yeah. Chris Williams just saw, I did an Instagram live with someone he knew and he just saw it. And we just Man. like, I was just like, let's do an interview. We did one. So funny. Yeah. yeah. Some fun- so you get to see like Gray Delisle did this character on there. Yeah. Uh, where she was me- making, uh, I can't remember what she called them. They were nachos made out of potato <laughs> chips in this acting alone. And then she texted me and she goes, Hey, thanks for that. I just got hired to do that voice. Like somebody heard her do this <laughs> character and they were like, ah, I want that character. It's 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 it blows my mind too that like you know a lot of people talk about Nickelodeon and Disney but Cartoon Network yeah had yeah some yeah gems man and like yeah oh, like so many good shows I, I there's a new one I can't even say what it is yet that I'm on uh, in fact as soon as you and I finish yes uh, I got to get in my sound booth that's right over here mm-hmm. and record an episode of this brand new Cartoon Network show. Do you enjoy uh, the voice? Like, is it because it's a it's yeah. different? No, but it's a, it gets different, obviously, than the, the live action stuff. The well, I, I just... make sure I dress, I dress up in a twenty five piece suit. Uh, it has two jackets, uh, three pairs of pants, uh, seventeen buttons, uh, cufflinks uh, made made out of uh, live rodents, uh, and I get in the voice booth and I, I make sure I massage my throat with a, a mixture of uh, unsalted butter, uh, clarified butter uh vegetable oil and uh just raw olives and i make sure that i'm in that mode Mm -hmm. and i step into that voice booth and i make uh, just uh, throat magic as you would call it and it's important what is your name sir and what show are you in hi gary anthony williams here you can catch me on new episodes of the crew on netflix (laughs) netflix if you have to flick anything make it a net netflix the crew Seriously, Gary, thank you so much for coming on Popternative. I really appreciate it. Thank you, my brother. Really nice talk to you. If you need anything, whether that's money or uh, <laughs> fresh lettuce from my garden. Talk to Dada Dude, right? <laughs> yeah, Dada Dude. Dada Dude to get it for you because I don't have the time. <laughs> um, so the crew's on Netflix right now. They can watch it. And seriously, they got to watch it. You, do, you all do such a great job. Chuck is the man. He's fun. You know, I will tell everybody right now, if you go, what was the inspiration of that character? I play my dad on the show. Like, mm-hmm. that's it. I think about my dad. He could fix anything. Ah. He was like a funny dude, but kind of just no nonsense. Like, if you ever want to go, oh, what was your dad? Like, I was like, turn into Netflix. Check out the crew. You will see a version of my dad on screen. Amazing. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? You're asking all the right questions, PDB. Uh, Gary Anthony Williams. That's at Gary Anthony Williams on the Instagram. And on the Twitter, at Gary A. Williams on Twitter. Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turnitin. Oh, by the way, let me just oh. say let me just say this. Yes. If, if you do like I did yesterday and you open up a container of Driscoll's raspberries and you find a B in there, face down, booty up. And you put it on Instagram and say, hey, Driscoll's, what's up with this B face down booty up in my raspberry container? They'll give you their phone number and say, hey, let, let us make it up to you. 
If you ever find a bee's butt staring at you in your fruit, get in touch with these people. That's, that's and make a it grand up Instagram me. plug, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, people are going to have to scroll. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 you know what? I'm a dad joke connoisseur, and I'd have to tell you some dad jokes very quickly before we r- wrap up. Did you hear about the kidnapping, Gary? The kid? No. Tell, it's tell okay. Me more. He woke up. Oh, Lord. Or why should you trust stairs, Gary? Why, sh- why should you? Should, should you? Sh- you, shouldn't, you shouldn't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Oh, hello. Oh, remember the time we used to work at that shoe factory? We both the quit. The shoe factory? We quit because it was soul destroying. Oh, <laughs> God, Wait, <laughs> do you have children or are you preparing no, for the like, day no, you have I, them? I am not a dad. I just say the jokes. Well, this is <laughs> Pop Turnip, YouTube.com slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. Be sure to catch Gary Anthony Williams in The Crew on Netflix. Until next time, this is Gary Anthony Williams and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnip on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.